Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have been watching my channel, you know that my pendants are relatively simple. There are very few of them that have more than few simple steps. And this one is one of those simple ones. So I'm using a bunch of craft supplies from my paper crafting and I'm also throwing in something that I haven't done before and that's pieces of nail art and they are absolutely perfect for this pendant. So let's get started. All right, so I uh, rolled out black clay and I'm going to cut it in two. Now I'm going to place uh, those two pieces one on top of the other without squishing it, squishing it because we are going to lift those pieces apart in just one second. I just wanted to get the same cut for both pieces. So this is the cut that I'm going to create the crevice with the see-through crevice. So once the cut is done, just separate all your pieces and it's getting pretty warm where I am. So the clay is getting so sticky, but it's okay, it's manageable. So with that, with all the pieces cut, we are going to work on our see-through crevice. So this is going to be the bottom part because it actually has two layers. So this is the bottom layer. So kind of, uh, I didn't want it to be equal the whole way through. So a part is thinner, the other part is thicker. You can kind of get your cutter and figure out, you know, it's like, how is it going to look good? And now it's time for the nail art. It's, those pieces are so neat. I cannot wait to use the little shells as well. They're absolutely perfect for jewelry making. People, go get stuff for nail from Amazon. They are so inexpensive and so much fun. So I'm just going to be using circles, squares, and triangles. These all come just in gold, but I'm pretty sure you can get them in silver as well. And I'm just going to start placing them, connecting the two pieces together. So the crevice, I'm going to be filling it with those metal pieces. Uh, that way, uh, the pendant is going to hold together. So all those cute pieces are going on. There is absolutely no rhyme reason as to how I place them. I'm just having fun with it. That's all. <laughs> And once we are going to be done with that layer, the second layer is going to go on and this is going to be the top of the pendant. So I'm placing the two pieces of clay that I have left over directly on the bottom ones, aligning them up. Now what I'm not lining up are all the pieces that I'm going to be putting on top. I'm actually on purpose making sure that they are offset that way, uh, if you have a circle at the bottom and triangle on top, you can see that there are different pieces and different layers. And I really do think that it makes such a huge difference and it looks so nice. You will see it in the finished product. I, at least, I think it looks nice. But I can totally see that you can do it in one, uh, in one layer if you really wanted to. So in order to get those beautifully rounded edges, if you take some cellophane, saran wrap and uh, cut uh, your clay through it, you get those beautiful and smooth edges. Now I'm going to cut out uh, the hole for the, um, uh, for the chain with my little cutter and also with the nail art they were like a little gold circles so i was like you know what that's gonna look just so nice around my little hole and it actually fit perfectly which was a complete accident because things don't usually line up like that for me but it did this time it was really really nice so now let's move into the next step and I'm using a stencil from Hero Arts. I think it's called Spiral. I'm going to put it in the description below, but I think it's Spiral something. So I'm going to place my little uh, circle, uh, the gold circle in the middle of that little stencil and I'm 
pushing it pretty hard not that hard but hard enough so that it's not sticking up from the clay now glitter is going on and at first i wanted just to spill the glitter on top of the pendant and then i'm like no i kind of like the ombre kind of look so i want to have more gold on top and then as we go down just have it less and less and less so i start off with the brush and you just give it a really nice thick layer with the brush and you kind of make it cascade down so as you go down there's less and less glitter at least that's what i was doing and when i was done with the brush i went over with my finger to smooth everything out because i knew where i was going to pull up on the stencil i didn't want all the glitter to be flying around it was enough that it was all over my cutting board <laughs> so i actually picked up my pendant and i had to clean everything because i didn't want glitter and all the other parts of the pendant and here you have it this thing is going into the oven 275 degrees for 30 minutes and it is done and i hope you can see what i was talking about the different layers you can totally see the metal pieces from the bottom layer uh, like poking through and i am going to use polyurethane uh, gloss varnish to varnish it <laughs> i'm gonna use varnish to varnish that polyurethane is just so awesome i use it on so many of my projects on canvases on wood it's i really really love it and of course here you have it i'm using it on my jewelry as well so i uh, i'm going to let it dry for 12 hours and there you have it look does it look it just came out so pretty it looks like scales like snake skin totally unintentionally but now that i look at the video i'm like oh my goodness it totally looks like snake skin what do you guys think about it what do you think about the two layers too i wonder if you guys like it because you could totally do it with one layer as well well my friends i hope you enjoyed this video i told you it was gonna gonna be a quick one and an easy one so till next time my friends ta -ta.